Hello, good evening. Oh, I know what's going on here. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? <laughs> fine, just fine. Okay. Good, 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 good. It's Friday. And the body knows it. <laughs> Hopefully everybody's here. Let's just wait for a few minutes. Now, you have five minutes to, to talk to your classmates. Come on, say hello to a classmate. Don't say hello in general. Just talk to someone in the class. Go ahead. Hello, everyone. Hello, Erika. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, finishing this week. Okay, you just work Monday through Friday? Yes, yes, thanks, God. <laughs> okay. And you? Yes, me too. Okay. How are you, Doris? I'm fine. But I I I will court tomorrow. Okay. Just the at the middle of the day. What? Uh, I don't understand very well. Just at the middle of the day? Just until noon. Okay. At the noon. Just until noon. Yes. Oh, just yeah. until noon. Okay. Afternoon. Yes. Yes. How? Um, Hello, Thelma. Hi, Doris. How are you? Fine. How was your day? Um, tired because uh, uh, we have in my area uh, close the moon in a counter. So, um, we have a uh, uh, for uh, uh, complete in, in form to of taxes to and um, and the uh, next send to Ministerio de Hacienda and mm. and we we had some trouble because. The the form is is changed. The the I had we had to edit rewrite um, some taxes and well, but uh, and final day we have fine. Oh. And you, Doris? Well, in, in my case, uh, in, in the world, no, no there are, no are uh, internet all day. There was no internet at okay. work? There's no, there there's was. no, this was no internet. The whole day? The whole day. There was no internet all day. At work? At court, in work, work. in my case, I I I can't send a, a taxes. I couldn't. I couldn't send, send taxes. Mm -hmm. Oh, send the taxes. Send the taxes. Okay. Um, I gonna recommend to read the news about the Ministry 
Ministerio de Hacienda because uh, there are there are many change. yes. changes. 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 Yes. 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 About the for the complete form forms and the. Okay. I. Uh, hey. uh -huh. There are there are a, a new new load. Yes, in my yeah. case, I uh, I uh, I make a inform. A, I try to send again, 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 again. I don't. Uh, uh, is the inform change uh, columns, more columns. The inform. Yes, yeah. yes, because uh, the. Uh, you have to um, erase two columns. Mm. And, and the other inference yeah. uh, uh, adds uh, 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 info, the column for the two, do it. Yes, yes. Do the Ministerio de Hacienda uh, uh, said that is necessary mm -hmm. uh, to use uh, our duties. Yes. For all the inform in taxes and another another theme in in all in all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I heard that they changed the system, right? The IRS in yes. Internal Revenue Service. The acronym Internal Revenue Service uh, of El Salvador. They changed the 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 service, uh, the their form, their platform. I think, and yes. it's becoming more difficult for com many companies to do the tax declaration because you you have to declare uh, your inform. Uh, your informs taxes inform with your duty only only yes. for the Ministerio de Hacienda homology homology the the duties with the need and that's why they made that change oh yeah yes because there's no need anymore now it's just the duty for for first yes. Third six months, uh, there are a uh, uh, do it and need, but after just a uh, do it only. Yes. Got it. Yes. Okay. Nice conversation. Important topic. It's a very important topic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do the attendance. Alexandre de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. It's Friday and the body knows it. Okay. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Excellent. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chavez. Present. Good. Francisco, we are staying 10 minutes after the class, okay? Okay. Freddy Vladimir Cortez López. I'm here, teacher. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present, teacher. Excellent. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. Present, teacher. Thank you. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Okay, Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Hmm. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. No, okay. Hold on. Yuri just joined. And Erika too. Good evening, okay. teacher. Yep, welcome. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. 
William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Good. Okay, Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Suleyma Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Present. Irene Susena Cuellar Albanés. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. And Telema Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, what was yesterday's topic? Tell me really quick. What do you remember about yesterday? Hello, hello. The shopping issues. Por ti. <laughs> Report. Yes, I'm not possible. I was listening to Bronco today while I was. <laughs> yeah, I I like Bronco. Well, my grandpa, my grandpa, rest in peace, from my mother's. Every time I used to go to Candelaria de la Frontera, where my family from my mother's side is, he was outside all the time, outside the house, listening to Bronco. It was like, hey. <laughs> they just made a, a concert with many other artists. Cristian Castro was there too. It, they were good. They were good. You have to admit it. It's good music. Also, the <laughs> was like, Come on. <laughs> you didn't know that side of me, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, well, when I was a kid, I used to listen to Algodón too. So what? Eso. Okay, let's continue. Temerarios. So, teme no, 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 not that much. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Let's move on. So yesterday we were talking about, yes, no questions. Mm. What do you use the reported speech? Reported speech with what? Yes or no question. Yes or no questions. Okay. So, so those, but, uh huh. Well, in my group, uh, we're talking about the the digital payments failures. Issues, mm -hmm. common issues when you place an order online. Tonight, yeah. we're gonna cover open questions. Now, what's the difference between? A yes and no question and an open question. Information questions. In structure, what's the difference? We use if or whether in the... Hmm. No, no, no. no. no Remember, no, again, it's a general question. <clears throat> in grammar, what is the difference between an information question and a yes, no question? Think about the structure. How do you start a yes, no question? And how do you start an information question? The difference is because yes, yes or no question, you use, only use the auxiliary. And information question, question you use a WH question. Excellent. Give me an example of a yes or no question. Do you want drink water? Do you want drink water? Mm -hmm. Run that by me again. Do you want drink water? Mm. Run that by me again, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Do, do, you you want, want to? do you want to drink water? Can I say, do you want drinking water? No, no because no. Trust, you are using to together. Okay, yeah. Yes. Yeah, in questions, you know, use gerunds. Very good. Okay, do you want to drink water? Okay. Now make it an open question. Everybody, come on. Amos. When? When what would what? you like to do to drink? <laughs> what would you like to drink, William? The same. Yeah, why not? When do you want to drink water, for example? When do you want to drink water? And so on, right? There's a difference. Okay. 
Now, just no questions. I can only answer you, in do general. You drink coffee? Do you drink coffee? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. Yes. Sometimes I do. This is, this is an example of the yes or no question, right? That's right. Okay. You say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. And with open questions, what kind of coffee do you prefer? Double. How do you like your coffee? You know what I love doing? Um, I'm becoming old. I'm 40 now, so I'm I'm getting I'm getting these elderly customs. I don't know. I'm drinking every day. One time at night, I'm drinking a coffee with Bailey's. Do you like Bailey's? Have you tried Bailey's? Yeah, I have a I have a bottle of Bailey's, a big bottle of Bailey's that somebody gave me. I mean, I mean, I have a, a friend. She's like 64 years old. And every year she gives me a bottle, a Bailey's bottle. Every year for Christmas, she brings me a, a Bailey's bottle. So I have two bottles right now. I don't drink, I don't drink, but man, the coffee with Bailey's is like, oh my God, it's delicious. Okay. So yeah, that's the kind of drink. That's the kind of coffee that I love. What kind of coffee do you like? Open question. So tonight we're going to study reported speech with information questions. Okay, but first we're going to move on with a different topic, something related to um, placing orders online. So far, we've talked about many situations that could happen when you place an order online. Tonight, we're going to talk about something that is also very common and is, let me remember, I don't want to open the page, I saw it. Um, oh, do you know the meaning of this acronym? Look at your chat. What is FAQ? Capital FAQ, small letter S. Have you seen that before? Facts. Yes. Yes. Answering questions. Mm, close, close, Yuri. Very close. Frequently answer, frequently uh. asked questions. <laughs> there you go. Frequently asked questions. Frequently asked questions. That's right. Frequently yeah. asked questions. What is the meaning of this? What What does it have to do? In the in the chat in the chat, the, uh, the company normal is uh, sending writing uh, this this word. Yeah. Yeah. Frequently asked questions, but what is the meaning of it? What does it mean? For your information. <laughs> uh, wait, I didn't write that. That's Amos. Yes. For your information. For yeah. information. Yeah. FYI. Oh, come on. We could continue with a lot of acronyms. Uh, so one that you may not know. <laughs> or example. <laughs> as soon okay. as possible. What is WIFM? <laughs> What's in it for me? What's in it for me. Hey, what's in it for me? Okay. Uh, That's an acronym, but but it's not a formal acronym. What's in it for me? Keys? What is keys? I was made for loving you, baby. Keep it simple right. and short. What? Keep it simple and short. Simple and short. Oh my gay, that sounds awesome. Keep it simple what, what, what? and short what oh, oh what? Sule, that's amazing keep it simple and short hey <laughs> but well an employee may misunderstood you if you're the boss <laughs> it's gonna go like the boss said keys oh my right, god with oh, capital listen. letters oh from, still i mean for the woman <laughs> <laughs> yeah asap yeah. ojo ASAP, no, ASAP, be careful. ASAP, ASAP. 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 Okay. What is the meaning? As soon as possible. As soon as possible. Okay. Yeah, there are many, many acronyms, actually formal acronyms, um, but you can use them internally in your job, not for a customer. If you're 
texting or emailing a customer, don't do don't use acronyms, okay? Uh, and that's it. Okay. So today we're talking about frequently asked questions. Frequently asked questions. Can somebody describe briefly what do you understand by frequent frequently asked questions? Please. How often to use uh, short? Hmm. No. Yeah. Uh, do you usually make that question? How often do you use short? <laughs> no. Remember, <laughs> let's go with the context. I use shorts every day, actually, Thelma, because I'm I'm working from home, so I'm always oh. I'm always in shorts, sandals, and socks. Okay, so that's the way I am right now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you asked. Okay, no, frequently asked questions in terms of a website, placing an order online, what is it? The most common most question common. that the customers do. Excellent, Andres. The most common questions customers do. So how do you find them? Can you find them in every website where you can make purchases? Oh, how do you have them? Come again, Frank. Many websites have. If you have has... noticed, many websites have, very good, you're, you were right. Many websites have frequently asked questions at the bottom of their website. If you go to any website right now where you can make purchases or even your bank, credit card companies, mm, product companies, they do have frequently asked questions at the bottom of their page. What else can you find at the bottom of the pages? Contact. Contact information, it says contact us. What else? About us. <laughs> About us, very good. About <laughs> us, it's like the history of the company, right? The story of the company, how they started and everything. Hey. Parenthesis, if you have noticed, I'm not, I'm not asking you for repetition. When I ask you to repeat something, I'm not saying, excuse me, what? Can you repeat that? I'm trying to use something else. What did I just say? I said, run that by me again. I also said, beg your pardon. Okay. Beg your pardon. The, the first one was a question too. I'm sorry. Uh, I can also say. Come on again. Pardon? What? Come on, come on again. Oh, um, come again. Come again. I said come again. Thank you. Come again. Okay. Pardon is a question too. I'm sorry. All of those are questions. So if you hear me saying that, it means repeat, please. Okay. <clears throat> so contact us, contact information, the email, the phone number of the company. Ah, it may say who, who we are or who are we? Other than about us, you may find something like, who are we? Uh, frequently asked questions, chat. And more recently, what else can you find instead of a chat? Social what? media? Uh, let me give you a clue. What else can you find on a website at the bottom? <laughs> it doesn't say chat or what? it says chat. What? Chatbot. chatbot products. Yeah. Nowadays, companies are using chatbots, a WhatsApp number, right? And it, you just type, it's to go with numbers, selecting numbers. For example, if you contact eyes, I think ISTO, I think they have this option, right? Yeah. Is it a good option or is it annoying? It's a good option. Okay. It, it's up to the service or the question you have because sometimes it's annoying when you don't receive the, the answer you are looking the for. The answer you're looking for or the option you're looking or for. Or the option, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So 
it's like asking for sales. Well, before this option of typing numbers on your selection, there was the, something called the IVR. We, we work in call centers, Alexander, uh, Jocelyn, I don't know who else works in call center here, I, remember, I don't remember. But you know what's the meaning of auto, automated phone system, you know, but the automated phone system is something that, um, I don't know why they call it IVR, I can remember. Yeah, IBR. Uh huh. It's the automated phone system, you know. Thank you for calling English Corporativo. For English, press one. For Spanish, press two. IBR. I, what is what is IBR? I can't remember what's the meaning of that acronym. IBR. IVR. IVR. Internal voice recording. Oh, something like that. Is Internal. when you pay pay your your ah, purchase uh, with boy. using a, a bot. It it was prior to the bot. It's some sort of bot, but is some of them have voice recognition. So, for example, if you call a language interpretation service, language interpretation service, you know you call the number, <clears throat> and you hear the recording. For English, press one. For Vietnamese, press two. For Russian, press three. For Thailand, press four. You can press or say, or they can say, please say the name of the language desired. And you go like Mandarin. Did you say Mandarin? If it is correct, say yes. Is For example, actually you is... pay you... Alex and then Yuri. Uh huh. Yeah, no, the, the acronym is Interactive Voice Response. Ooh, can you type it? Interactive Voice Response. Yeah. Interactive Voice Response. Yuri? It's for example, when you you pay uh, uh, something on the internet, the, the bot ask about many things like uh, the credit card, no, credit, cre credit card number or your name and everything in the bot compare your answer and if those are correctly. Correct, it, it verifies your information before it transfer you to a customer service rep or to the desired department. Okay, it is annoying when it gets stuck. I'm sorry, your input, your input is incorrect. Try again, I'm sorry, your input is incorrect. Bye-bye. Do, 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 do. <laughs> the, 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 the voice is recording in one of that and, and, and sending on my cell phone for no 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 use. it's like let's say you call claro amos okay you want uh, you won't get a rep a representative all of this vocabulary will be on the on the next exercise, the first exercise we're going to do right now, I'm going to split the class and on your chat and here on Zoom and on WhatsApp, you will see this link. It's an ex excerpt, but it's also, um, how do we call these things? It's a role play as well. You have a customer, um, you have a customer representative, two people. So read it get the vocabulary. You will find key vocabulary, key phrases, and then you will find a quiz on that website. Okay, so let's work, let's work in groups. <laughs> let's work in groups. Okay, so you can do this exercise. It's very nice. And then we will discuss the different vocabulary and, and phrases that you may have found on this role play okay make sure you practice with your classmates okay let's go Guys, I'll stand up for a minute, okay? Just a minute.
um, what is a practice is read the, the page. Yeah, we have to read the article. The teacher send the link on WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pues, uh, okay. States. Okay, guys, uh, this is a role play. Actually, there are two people on the conversation. If you want to practice, okay? Okay. Okay. The, the page okay. Uh, talking about um, the mistake and, and, and the uh, problems for the customer. Now actually, it's a conversation, right? Mm -hmm. So we have to, can I share? Okay. Yeah. So, um, is that happening when the two customers are representative of the Okay, so <laughs> give me a moment. And uh, the, the example, uh, the real, uh, uh, yes. the, give the example for the. Okay. The customer service, sorry. Sorry, no sharing, remember. <laughs> I was the, I, I don't copy in that moment. I'll try to send you the... Oh, sorry. It's okay, I'll send you the reading. No. Uh -huh. really quick. Yeah. Hold on. But yes, it is a role play. Try to read it in couples. There you go. It's a role play between two people. Come on. They're being. Lord Ticker, we are a little confused. What is the mission for this link? Oh, we can do? Just what, follow what it. Do? Just follow it. Read it. It's a conversation mm -hmm. between two people. There is a customer mm -hmm. and there is a customer care representative. Customer care. Okay. And then you will review the vocabulary, the phrases, and answer the comprehension quiz. All right. Mm -hmm. If you want, we can read a paragraph. It's a one by one. Mm -hmm. Because we are. It's a conversation. You need a partner. Mm -hmm. Who because, um customer car representative. Okay, and Yuri is a customer. Go ahead, Yuri. Okay, let me see. Customer, good morning. I purchased a computer from your company last month. Unfortunately, I'm not satisfied with my new computer. 
I'm having a lot of problem. Customer care, and oh, now it's your turn. Oh, I'd like to try. Okay. Um, what seems to be the problem? I'm having problem with my internet connection as well as repress repaired customer. Who wants to be the agent? I would like to be oh, this the next customer care representative. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I purchased a computer from your company last month. Unfortunately, I'm not satisfied with my new computer. I'm having a lot of problems. What seems to be the problem? I'm having problems with my internet connection, as well as repeated crashes when I try to run my work processing software. Did you read the instructions that came with the computer? Well, yes, but the Drupal shooting section was not held. Drupal shooting. What happened exactly? Well, the internet connection doesn't work. I think the modem is broken. I like a replacement. How were you using the computer when you tried to connect to the internet? I was trying to connect to the internet. What kind of question is that? I understand your said, sir. I'm just trying to understand the problem. I'm afraid it's not our policy to replace computer because of Glitches. I bought this computer with the software preloaded. I haven't touched anything. Well, we're sorry that you you have a problem with this computer. Could you bring in your computer? I promise you will check the setting and get back to you immediately. Okay, that will work for me. <laughs> Is there anything else I need to know about this that I haven't though to ask? No, I just like to be able to use my computer to connect to the internet. Well, do our best to get your computer working as soon as possible. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Now, Fernando with Doris. Okay. Problem with this computer. Could you bring in your computer? I promise you will check the settings and get back to you immediately. Remember, mm -hmm. not sharing content. <laughs> Okay. You can share. You can share what I send you on WhatsApp. The image. Okay. Of, yeah, that's better. Okay. Copyrights. Copyrights. Okay, we finished the exercise. Teacher. Okay, you finished the role play. Reading the role play. The exercise. The exercise two. Oh, okay. So what's next? Yeah. Number two, um, understand the vocabulary and phrases. Number three, answer the quiz at the bottom. Did you answer the quiz? Yes. Okay. Yes, we have 100%. Awesome. Okay. Any questions? Uh, in my case, I just want to know the meaning of this word. 
uh, I don't know, the pronunciation of glitches? Glitch. Glitch. Glitch, yes. glitches. Mm -hmm. The meaning of the word, the pronunciation. Both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pronunciation is glitch. 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 Okay. It's a failure. It's a failure when something fails. Like mm -hmm. when your, <clears throat> I don't know, your your cell phone goes like, tuk, 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 you know, turns on and off, turns on and off. Mm -hmm. For example, is a glitch. Oh. Or, yeah, when the light goes on and off. Oh, it has a glitch, you know. Mm -hmm. It fails. Okay. Yeah. It's an intermittent problem. It could be an intermittent problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. I understand. Any other? Thank you. You're welcome. Mm, no. For me, no. What's the most interesting key phrase that you found? Um, the key phrase. For me, a key vocabulary, I didn't know uh, get, gather information. Gather, gather, is the, gather. Yeah. yes. Yeah, for me, this. Okay. You need to gather all the clues, you need to gather all the information, mm -hmm. gather, gather information, gather, gather people. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay, cool. Okay, let me go with one last group and we will go back to the main the main room. Just a minute. Oh, what happened there? Um for so the the quiz. <laughs> yeah. Ninety percent. What was wrong? <laughs> this one. <laughs> How many problems is the customer having? What was the answer around? The customer is having two problems, connecting to the internet and using word processing software. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I think we have to talk about last tonight. <laughs> Let's see, dealing with complaints. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know about last? You know about last? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> okay, good. Okay. Good. Let's go back then so we can talk about customer service and a little bit. Okay. That that would be weird. I adore the street where we saw each other the night when we met. I adore the things that you say or happy times. I adore them. My life. Oh my god, no, no, no. Definitely not. Okay. <laughs> We're back, right? We're coming back. So what was the um, um, role play about? What was the role play about? What's the topic of the excerpt? Computer was having problems. Okay. The customer was having problems with the computer. Okay. The computer was... failing okay there was a glitch there was a glitch on the computer uh-huh the software was not crashes and 
discussing and doesn't connect to the internet? It didn't connect to the internet. Yeah, okay, let's continue trying to apply reported speech. So mm -hmm. the customer said the computer crashed because it didn't connect, to, it couldn't connect to the internet. Okay. What else? What else? I didn't read it. I haven't read it. So tell me. The customer said that the modem was crashed. That the modem had crashed. Had crashed. Uh -huh. Had crashed. Okay. Why? I don't know, but he wants a replacement. She wanted a replacement. Was it a she or a he? He's a man. He's a man? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Look. He said he wanted a replacement. Okay. What happened after that? What did the agent do? Reported the, speech. The customer service representative asked to the customer to bring the computer. Oh, okay. The customer representative asked the customer, asked the customer, asked to the customer. To the customer. Mm -mm. Ask the customer. Ask the customer. Okay. Not to. Uh -huh. <coughs> I'm sorry. And then? Actually, the customer care representative asked the customer if he read the instruction that came with the computer. Did he? Really? Yeah. How would you feel if, if, if this happened to you? Did you read the instructions that came with the computer? It actually make me feel like if I'm dumb or something like that. Yeah, you, it will be like, excuse me, what? Me? Oh, yeah. Of course I read it. I read it. I'm a technician. <laughs> actually, consumer said that he the ultra will shoot, the, but it didn't work. Oh, he said that he had trouble shooting. He said that he had trouble shooting and that didn't work. Okay. Okay. What was the problem in reality? No idea? He, he, he wanted to connect to the internet. Connect, to the but, internet. Okay, but there was no, no connection. Okay, I, I noticed William is trying to talk. He's trying to say something. For some, for some time you have been turning on your, your microphone and it's like somebody else speaks and you don't say anything. Go ahead. What do you think, William? Um, teacher, uh, the report speech. Um, mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, the customer, the customer, the customer car representative asked, ask, 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 uh, what are, what are we know what seems from the past of the scene is to be the problem what seemed to be the seemed, problem seemed okay mm -hmm. well what what do we know what seemed to to be the problem okay okay Let's go with key vocabulary. Now, the main topic of this excerpt is dealing with complaints for, oh, what is ESL? You know what ESL stands for? You didn't notice the title? ESL stands for English as a Second Language. English as a Second Language. There is a page, actually. Huh? There is right. a web page. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Copyright. <laughs> hmm. 
English as a second language. Um, customer service reps. So this is customer service reps who speaks who speaks um, English and Spanish, let's say. Okay, moving on. So key words, key vocabulary. Customer service rep, customer service representatives. Just the rep. The rep told me, the rep said, okay, I'm a rep. I'm a customer service rep, okay? Gather information, to gather information, resolve, be careful, resolve the problem. Not our, not our policy, oh, I'm sorry, I jumped one. Sure, deal, sure. deal with complaints, yep. Uh, sorry, sorry, uh, and um, the one, the, the ones the ones the one uh, key vocabulary the the order of the words is different in, in the acronym I'm sorry I didn't get that reps reps oh no 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 that's not an acronym it's just um an a, I don't want to say diminutive no it, this is a diminisher I Web. love that word. Webs. Diminisher. Ah, okay. Okay. I think that's okay. the way. Diminisher. Diminish, diminisher. Reps. Ah, uh, something like that. Diminisher. To diminish, to make something little. Diminisher. Uh, I've always used it that way. Nobody has ever corrected me. So yeah, diminisher. That's a diminisher of customer service representative. It's actually the diminisher of representative, Amos. Rep. Representative. Rep. 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 Okay. That's Only a representatives. Uh, I'm a customer service rep. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, good. Okay. Deal with complaints. Every night I have to deal with you and you have to deal with me. So sorry. <laughs> Okay. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> okay. Hey, very American. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. This is not bad. It's not bad. It's not good. It's just another day, another dollar. Okay. Same old, same old. That's very American. Okay. The only complaints is as example for the for. The person, uh, uh, when I call in a tío for this, this uh, to complain, an yeah. engine. Uh, when you call the company upset, when you okay. call the company because something went wrong, something went wrong mm -hmm. with your order, with the product, okay. with the service. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. So you deal with complaints every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Keyword vocabulary. Not, not our, not our policy. Not our policy. Repeat. Not our policy. Not our policy. I'm sorry. That's not our policy. Not our policy. Not our policy. I'm sorry. Sorry. That's not our policy. Not our okay. Policy. Not our, not our, not our policy. Doing the words. Troubleshoot. 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 Okay, your microphone is your microphone is not working. Troubleshoot. Troubleshoot it. Come on, resolve it. I know you can do it. Turn it on, turn it off, disconnect it, reconnect it, and so on. Glitch. Erika, what's the meaning of glitch? <laughs> I, I forgot. Come on. Is what oh, my when 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 you have a a problem that happened, uh, for example, you you said when your phone is turned on and turned off. It's turning on and off, on and off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a failure. A failure. A failure. A failure. Something yeah. is intermittently failing, turning on and off, or not getting charged for example okay key phrases what seems to be the problem what seems to be the problem okay did you miss any phrase do you not understand any of the phrases on the key phrases okay 
Okay, I think it's clear, right? Any new one? Is there anything else I need to know about this that I haven't thought to ask? That's too long. That is too long. Is there anything else that I have to? Do you think is do you think there is anything else? Can you think about any other step that we haven't performed? Sounds better. Can you think about any other step we haven't performed? Or have you performed any other step that I'm not aware of? I'm not aware of. Okay. When did the customer buy the computer? One month ago. Excellent. How many problems is the customer having? Two, Two problems. problems. Two problems. Two problems. Two problems. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, troubles. Troubles. Uh, you cannot pluralize troubles, I think. It's, there's just one trouble. Life is a trouble. Okay. If you can answer a few questions, I'm sure we'll... Resolve resolve the problem soon very good i'm afraid it's no other policy not our policy to replace computers with software problems perfect number five when did the customer first notice the problem when trying to connect it to the internet to connect to the internet very good what is the shower <laughs> Well, in the shower, really? No. <laughs> okay. What's, hey, be careful. What suggestions What suggestions does the customer service make to solve the problem? Bring it to... Before the repairs. Good. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in for repairs. We bring it in for repairs. Repair. Repair. Repairs. <laughs> Right. Again, that is repairs. repairs. For repairs. Okay. Listen, listen. Repairs. Repairs. Mm -hmm. Just the way you say pair, pair, a shoe pair. Okay. Repairs. Repairs. Pairs. Pairs. Okay. Repairs. Could you please? Sure, I will shoot. Could you please troubleshoot my computer? Very good. One's eye, number eight. Identify. Uh, gather. Once I gather the information, I can help you solve the problem. Solve your problem. I can help you solve your problem. Okay. Number nine, as a customer service representative, I need to deal with, deal with complaints and troubleshoot software problems. And last, number 10. Or customer service. Representative. Customer service representatives provide help for customers from around the world. Okay, I'm gonna teach you something. I know you are not answering calls. This is something that may save your life one day. In customer service, uh, this this is very known, and it's called last. It's an acronym for uh, customer service, especially when you're over the phone. But this, if you're a smart person and you're dealing with customer service, this could help you even in Spanish. The acronym stands for listen, okay? Listen, but listen involves active listening, okay? Active listening. What do you think is active listening? Active listening. Pay attention in every single detail. Pay attention. Take notes if you can. Because when somebody is upset, complaining, they just soltar la sopa. Okay? Kill the beans. <laughs> Not the beans, <laughs> that's something else. Let the customer vent. This is key. You know, I'm one of the best customer service representatives in El Salvador. I can tell you. In 2005, I learned this, L-A-S-T. Listen, apologize, solve, and terminate. I'll, I'll continue. So let the customer vent. I mean, he will 
say bad words. He will swear at you. Keep in mind, it's not with you. It's with the company. It's with the product. It's, you, it's not your fault. Let him tell you what you're going to die of. You know, just let him yell and keep an eye. Keep taking notes. Pay attention to details, important details. The name, the date, the kind of product. What is, why is he upset? Why is he upset? That's important for you. The main question, why is he upset? Oh, we didn't give him a refund. Oh, he didn't receive the product. Mm, oh, this is too expensive. Oh, nobody answered the phone before. Mm. He has been dealing with this for a month. Oh my God, one month without cable, one month without his glasses. We haven't made the glasses. Oh my God, be empathetic, be empathetic. This is very important. Before moving to apologize, which, which is where you have to be empathetic. Let the customer vent and keep an eye for this. If you're on the phone, you will notice when the customer breathes, okay? When he breathes, you go, you jump in. If you are face to face, you will see the customer. It's your fault, I hate your company. And then you speak, I'm so sorry, okay? Start with an apology, which is the second one. Listen, apologize, okay? Apologize. That's the second one. I think I misspell it, but anyways, apologize to the customer. I'm so sorry. Be empathetic. I know how you feel. One month without your glasses, one month without service. Uh, let me help you. Okay. Be smart. Offer the solution right up front because you already heard all the yelling, right? All the cursing, all the cursing from the customer. And again, keep calm, keep calm, don't get upset. If you get upset with somebody who is upset already, are you smart? No, you are not. No, there's no sense because if you get upset too, then you will be closing um, the opportunity for, to have a conversation with another human being. Think about it. So just breathe. Listen, write down. Think, I have the solution. I have the solution. What is the worst that could happen? You don't have the solution. Okay, who has the solution? My boss. That could be a solution. Hey, you know what? I'm so sorry that this happened to you, but don't worry. We will resolve this right now. Let me bring my boss because I cannot help you, okay? I'll be honest with you. I cannot help you. Can you wait for me two minutes? Okay, I'll be back. Boss, you throw the ball and that's it. Be smart. Okay, don't get upset. Apologize, be empathetic. You know what is empathy? Place your shoes on others. Be on someone else's shoes. Put yourself on someone else's shoes. Here's the thing. Feel feel what the other person is feeling why is he upset man i will be upset if they caught my electricity if they didn't bring me my glasses etc okay so listen apologize solve okay solve the situation offer a solution right on the on the spot you know i'm your man don't worry i'm your man i'm gonna help you right away don't worry this is simple I don't know, how is it possible that nobody helped you before? Let's correct this right now. And that's it. Just give the solution, okay? Never blame your company. That's important. Oh man, my company sucks. I'm so sorry. No, don't say that. <laughs> Just go like, you know what? This might have been a human error. I don't know, but I will find out for you and solve it right away, okay? Please accept my most sincere apology. Let's fix this right now, okay? Solve. And last, terminate. It sounds weird, terminate for this acronym, but in reality, 
you have other customers waiting, you have other things to do. So let's finish this right now. Okay, so this is the solution. Uh, we're gonna offer you this, 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 and that. Do you agree? Awesome. The most important question, okay. Is there anything else I can do for you? Always be, be uh, polite. This is a polite question to close a question, to close a conversation. Is there anything else that I can do for you? Is there anything else I can do for you? Is there anything else that I can do for you? Sounds better. Is there anything else that I can do for you? Is there anything else that I can do for you? Many ways of saying it, but the point is that that question triggers, you know what is trigger? Yeah. What is it, Alexander? The proper translation to Spanish, I can remember, to trigger. Mm, yeah, but in, in as a verb, that triggers. Disparador. Yeah, that initiates. That, that gives the idea to the other person that you're close in the conversation. Is there anything else that I can do for you? Um, es como lo mismo en español. ¿Hay algo más que puedo hacer por usted? No? Okay. Va, perfecto. Chicos. Bye. Dele. <laughs> Dele recto. Right? <laughs> exactly. Your, your, your time is limited. Your customer's time is limited, so you already gave the solution. He's happy, we're happy, we're fine. So that's it. Okay, nice to talk to you. It's been my pleasure. I hope to have you back on our store. Bye-bye. That's it. Okay, let's do the attendance before we move on with the next activity. Think about what I have said and just let me know if you have questions. After we do the attendance, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Dora Elizabeth Navarro. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales, present. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chávez, present. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López, Glenda Laura Celada Renderos, I'm here, teacher. Eimos Alfredo García Granadino, present, teacher. José Alberto Salas Benítez, present. Oh, good. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. And. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana, Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Okay. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. And Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, questions? Actually, I have a doubt mm -hmm. because I have learn la, this method mm -hmm. the same the last the, the last yeah. the, the, the t the t is thanks actually oh thank thank yeah they change it later but when we started let me tell you um atento started with this acronym back in 2005 when they had the airline we, we started this this acronym it was part of the training and it's actually, it actually became part of your customer service training. Have you seen the, the old lady, an old lady, very, very fancy talking about customer service on your trainings, Alexander, Jocelyn? No, no, that's in English, right? No, 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 forget it. But there's a, there's a lady talking about last and many other topics that you need to know about on customer service. Yeah, man, if everybody will know about customer service, I think we will be better humans. Totally. 
you know, you never have to get upset. I mean, even if somebody is very upset, you know, chill, relax. Don't don't take it personal. I mean, yeah. <laughs> my brother, my brother hates me. My brother is really grumpy. You know, he's always grumpy. In fact, when when we take pictures together, he's like, <laughs> come on, man, smile. What's going on with you? He believes he's Pancho Villa. Something like that. Or Cortez, Escobar, I don't know. So let's move on. Customer service, complaints. On your book, let's continue. We have page 22. We're just going to jump into the topic for tonight, which is um, reported speech with open questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so page 22. Yeah, thinking at the end of the conversation is kind of the same, you know, there's always something important um, that you have to say at the end of every interaction with a customer. Thank you for visiting La Jolla. Thank you for visiting, I don't know, any, your, the name of your company must be the last thing you mention on a conversation. Okay. <laughs> So we have been talking about this, uh, describe risks and tips related to identify, to identity, I'm sorry, identity theft when shopping online. Remember, we talked about identity the theft, but we didn't go in deep. Um, do you know how to keep your personal information safe when you shop online, guys? How do you keep your personal information safe when you shop online? Too big, too big. Huh? Do you know how to keep your personal information safe when you shop online? No, I don't. Right. You don't? Credit card. Yeah. You have to, to look for a, a candado. No. Oh, we talked about this, yes. Uh -huh. How do you say candado in English? We said it, and I don't at remember. Luck. A at lock? Luck. At, at luck, yes. At, at luck. Padlock. 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 Pad. P A D. Yeah. Padlock. Thank you. Thank you for padlock. A padlock. Padlock. A padlock on the address bar. You know the address bar where you have www.com. Okay. At the end, there should be a padlock. A lock. Okay. And that means that it is a secure website. But how do you? Keep your personal information safe when you shop online. Maybe when, sure? when advice could be done, say your credit card information, only oh. your personal information, like your address or your name, but your, when you are finishing your, your purchases, uh, sometimes the website asks you something like, well, uh, uh, do you want to, to save your credit card information? And if you uh, don't read that message and only click yes, that is an about practice. So that is that is about about practice. Mm -hmm. yes. You heard you heard guys. Don't save your credit card information. Okay. What else? You Secure it so don't clear. Visit, don't don't visit bad page. Anything. Don't don't visit uh, what kind of pages? You have um, to use a safe connection to a not safe, a public connection. Not a public connection. Andres uh, said that. Okay. Uh, without, without a padlock. Oh, okay. Without a padlock. Yeah. Yeah. Because it could be a fake a fake website. Okay. okay. So that's the way you protect your personal information. Okay, what will happen if your credit card information is compromised while purchasing online? Well, number one, how will you notice that your card information has been compromised? How will you notice? You receive a charge for charges. You receive another charge, not, not, the, one, not the one that you were trying to, to place? 
Yes, uh, charge that you don't recognize. Okay. Unauthorized charges. Unauthorized charges. Okay. What do you do? Report to the bank. When? Yes. When you have that kind of problems. Right away. I think one of you mentioned that there is a period of time, I think. I think you mentioned this. Mm, or it was somewhere else. But anyways, in case you didn't know, I remember in case someone mentioned it, but here in El Salvador, it's, it's a general rule. It's a general rule. If you contact your bank within five minutes of placing an order, listen, if you contact your bank within five minutes of placing an order online or making a purchase in person, they must cancel the transaction. You have five minutes, call the bank and tell them, cancel the last transaction I made right now. They must cancel the transaction right away. If you call yeah. after five minutes, then they cannot cancel it. You have to go through a dispute process. And um, when I shop, with a credit card sending and the message test, a message, no, message test. The message? The message text. The text message. For, my, for myself, for myself. Mm -hmm. uh, Albert, Albertin, come say, Albert Albertin, advertising? Tiempo, advertising the transaction in this moment. Oh, wait, uh, wait, wait. So yes. you're talking about the messages that the bank sends to you on your chat, on your cell phone, a transaction was placed on the card ending on four 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 four. Was this you? If it was, yes, no. Okay, yeah. They report every every activity on your card. I got you. Okay, so going back to this, if you don't recognize a charge and you don't call your bank right away, let's say you noticed the charge one, two, three days later then you have to dispute that charge with the bank. One more thing, <clears throat> someone said in this class that credit cards, or actually it was on, on one of four, one of four uh, role plays, right? Credit cards are backed up, credit cards are backed up by the bank, okay? But debit cards aren't, right? A debit card doesn't have a backup, right? There's no insurance for debit cards, just for credit cards. For okay. debit cards, you have to pay, right? A monthly service fee, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes, because because that maybe uh, you 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 can have a debit card with without phones on you only uh, 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 getting phones in the in the in the debit card when you want to buy something but you got it in general terms yes that's the way a debit card works okay what will happen if your credit card information is compromised while purchasing online just call the bank so they can cancel the card and send you a new one um that's the first thing you have to do. <clears throat> Number two, make sure um, that there are no transactions that you don't recognize. Ask for a bank, a bank statement. Ask for a bank statement to the bank so they can email it to you or check it online. You know, look for any transactions, any attempts, any attempts to use your card. So this time we're going to do something different. I'm going to select two people to go through the... Um, through the conversation, okay, really quick. Um, I'm gonna ask for two volunteers, simple, say me and your name. Hey, Luis. Okay, me, Luis, Luis and me, Yuri. Okay, one, two, three, one is Chris and the other one is Ricardo. Hey, okay. I've been reading a lot of, about identity theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked banks how they plan to solve this issue with identity theft. 
Uh, what's that anyway? Identity is, oh, I see you like to buy a lot of uh, a lot of electronic from the internet. To complete that purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves old. They're trying to steal that information to get to you your to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked uh, me that my password was, I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me, uh, sent me uh, an email asking what site I used to store my credit card information, I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Excellent, okay. <clears throat> okay. Chris, planned, planned. In the Indians plan to solve the issue with identity. There are two ways of saying this. Identity, identity theft, identity theft, identity theft, identity theft. Or you can say identity. Oh, again, hold on. Uh, this guy, what's his name? I forgot. Dennis? No, wait. Uh, Freddy's. Freddy's. Sorry. Freddy's, can you pronounce identity, please? Identity theft. Identity. 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 Repeat. Identity. Identity. <laughs> It's like taking the, the, the T off, right? Not pronouncing, not pronouncing the T. So you say identity, 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 identity theft, identity theft, identity theft. That's the way you practice. You repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay. So again, plan to solve the issue with ident identity, identity theft. Plan to solve the issue with identity theft. What's that anyway? Listen, what's that anyway? What's that anyway? What's that anyway? That it, that it, that anyway, that anyway. Okay. Again, I, identity, identity theft, identity theft. Oh, I see. Okay, let's move on. The internet, Yuri, the internet. A lot of electronics from the internet, from the internet, the internet. Okay. I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile be careful with this word, guys. It's not profile. It's profile. Have a profile in the online store. Okay. And there are thieves. Good job, Jury. Thieves, thieves, thieves out there. And there are many thieves. And there are thieves out there. And there are thieves out there. And there are thieves out there. Okay. Next. Read um, all as a one sentence. Send me an email. Send me an email. Once a person sent me an email, okay. Once a person sent me an email, I bet they wanted to. I bet they wanted to. Wanted to. Wanted to. Wanted to. Wanted to. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Okay. We need to practice pronunciation. I'll give you just ten minutes so we can move to the grammar part. Just listen. Try to repeat by yourself if you didn't get a word. Just listen. I have been reading a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked banks how they plan to solve the issue with identity theft. What's that anyway? Identity theft? Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet, from the internet, sorry. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it, I thought it was a strange. I thought it was strange. 
my bad. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what sites I used to store my credit card information, I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Okay, this is on your book, page 22, and this you can share. Remember, copyrights. So let's practice just 10 minutes and we come back right away so we can move on with the grammar topic, okay? Page 22. Maybe me, Chris, if you want. Okay, I could be Ricardo. Okay, I have been re reading a lot of a lot about identity death online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked bank. Banks, how they plan to solve the use the issue with identity theft? What that what what that anyway? Identity theft? Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get your money. I didn't know they could do, they could do that. Someone recently asked, asked me what my password was. I I told it I thought it was strange, but I didn't give it's your turn, Jeremy and Sandra. Please. Yes. Okay. Who do you want to be? Okay, I I will I will start. I have been reading about a lot of identity theft online for the past few days. A financial especially asked banks how they planning to solve that the issues with identity theft. What's that anyway? Identity theft, or oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronic for the internet. To complete a purchases, you need, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information in your credit, um, in your credit card number. And there are uh, tigers out there Trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. Information to get to. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any information, any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what site I used to store my credit card information, I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Okay. One more time. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. And 
turn the person. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I would like. And um, uh, Chris. Someone recently, someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't, don't ever give them your password and any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what site I used to store my credit card information, I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Okay, I have reading a lot of about identify tip online. Or mm, strange, but I didn't give the my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sends me an email asking what site I used to store my credit card information. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Well, now I am Chris and Ricardo is Francisco. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I have been reading a lot about identity. Identity. <laughs> I have been reading a lot about identity. Identity death online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked banks how they plan to solve the issue with identity death. What does anyway? Identity death? Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronic from, from the internet to complete. Uh, purchases you need to have a profile profile in the online store and, uh, there. I'm sorry <laughs> I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what asked me what my password was. I I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Francisco. Francisco. Uh, I think Francisco. False. Uh, uh, yes. Can you finish the, the last one for us? Okay, if you can see my ugly mouth. No pensé que fuera necesario hacer esto, pero si estoy notando ciertos... Hello. Ciertos... Hola. Hello. Hello. Yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hello. Can you hear me, guys? One, two, one, two. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. yes we can hear you. Okay, so... Okay. 
I'm going to mute you, ok? Uh, no pensé que fuera necesario, pero sí creo que es necesario corregir cierta pronunciación. So, vuelvan al video, ven esta parte, no sé si logran ver mi cara. Espero que en el video se pueda ver el recuadro solo con mi rostro, ok? Si es así, follow the articulation. I have been reading a lot about identity, identity, identity theft, identity theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist, again, a financial specialist asked, asked banks how they planned, how they planned to solve the issue with identity theft. Identity theft, that, what's that anyway? What's that anyway? Identity theft, Oh, I see. You like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves, thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me, asked me what my password was. I thought it, I thought it was strange. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password, but I, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what sites I used to store my credit card information. I, I bet, I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. I bet they wanted to they wanted to steal my personal information. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. So, ¿qué haces con esto? Le vas poniendo pausa. Cada una de las frases es una palabra que escuchaste que la pronuncié y dijiste, no pude decir financial, digo yo. El teacher dijo financial. A ver cómo lo dijo. Financial. O como que traba la lengua para atrás. Financial. Perfect. Financial. And so on. So, you check. Review, repeat, record, listen, record, listen. You got it. That's the way you improve your pronunciation, okay? I hope you looked for just a minute, remember? Can you help me with the pronunciation Still. of what? It's the same pronunciation. Okay. Homophones, homophones, still, still. You are the magnet and I am still. Who sings that song? Rod Stewart, no, wait. Uh, you are Eric Clapton. And I am still. Okay, how do you plan to solve the issue with the identity theft? A financial specialist asked banks. So read the conversation again and rewrite the question below. So how do you plan to solve the issue with identity theft? A financial specialist asked banks and they said, mm, take a look at this. A financial specialist, a financial specialist, a financial specialist, specialist asked banks how they planned to solve the issue with identity theft, identity theft, identity theft. Okay, that's how you rewrite the question. What about what? what's your password? Someone asked. Well, how would you move this to reported speech based on the on on the bold letters? What's your password? Someone asked. Someone recently asked. You can turn on your microphones now. Someone asked me what my password was. Mm, close. Someone. Recently, when he asked, 
Ask no, me what my, what's well, my password was. What my password was. And the last one. What sites do you use to store your credit card information? A person asked. The next one, asking what sites I use to store my credit card information. A person sent me an email asking what sites. So let's see. Let's look at the grammar really quick. Um, again, the same formula. You have simple present, then you use simple past. Simple past, you use past perfect. And for will, you use would. It's just three different uh, formulas, let's say. Okay, now let's look at the examples. And well, when reporting things that other people say or ask, the verb tense often shifts back. Report information questions using ask, inquire, want to know, and then a WH word plus the clause, the sentence word. Okay, keep in mind, you are not using a question to report. Look at the example. What is the process to return a product? Number one, this is simple present, okay? What is the process to return a product? If you use reported speech, a customer asked what the process to return a product was. Auxiliary in past, okay? It's a rule, you have to put the auxiliary at the end sometimes. Let's look at the second example. In this case, that doesn't happen. When do you expect the package to arrive? A customer asked, when we expected the package to arrive is a positive sentence, okay? It's not a question anymore. Expect, expected. A customer asked when we expect, no, when did we expect? Mm, that would be a question again, so it's not possible. So have, you have to use the verb in, in past, okay. A customer asked when we expected the package to arrive. Questions so far? Mm -hmm. Jocelyn, when is your birthday? You're asking me to correctly to <laughs> respond the way it should be or mm -hmm. use this example. Reported speech. Okay. The teacher asked me when my birthday was. Perfect. When my oh. birthday was. Very good. Okay. Jessica Yanari. What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? The teacher asked, what did? The teacher asked uh -huh. me, me? The teacher asked me, asked me, what, uh, what is that, the other? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> what do you do? for mm -hmm. a living. So the teacher asked me what did uh -huh, did, what did did I, I forget that the that, 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 that compliment did <laughs> okay what did I do for a living again the teacher asked me what did I do for a living now in this example in this example I'm not using the auxiliary did again Mm -hmm. No, yeah. I'm using yeah. do because do was the main verb. So what do you do for a what? living? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in, in, mm -hmm. in, in this case was, and the teacher, the, the teacher asked, what did? Mm -hmm. Ask but me I, or ask, what did I do for what, a living? What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but I forget that, the compliment. Yeah, I it's okay. with my... Memory. <laughs> yeah. I know it's not easy, but practice, practice. Say one sentence, read one sentence, and then try to memorize it. 
repeat it without reading. Repeat without reading. Freddy's. How often do you take a shower? Every day. <laughs> Twice a day. Okay, now report it speech. <laughs> the teacher asked me how often I took a shower. Mm. How often I took a shower? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. I could avoid using do, just go straight to the verb in past. And that's the whole point. The main verb, move it to the past. Okay. Now, next sample, simple past, past perfect, the same thing. When did you ship the, my order? When did you ship my order? A customer asked when we had sent his order. A customer asked when we had sent this order. Now, this I don't like the way it sounds because normally an American will say a customer asked when had we sent his order? When have we sent his order? But then you, will, you wouldn't be following the rule. Why? Because you will be moving the auxiliary here and that will make it a question. So you have to respect this structure. Be careful with that. A customer asked when we had sent his order. That, that is reported speech. Okay, next example. Which items did you pick from the catalog? Catalog. Which items did you pick from the catalog? The sales agent asked which items I had picked from the catalog. I had picked. Auxiliary have in past, verb in past participle. Don't forget it. That is present, I mean, past perfect, past perfect, past perfect, okay? Um, <clears throat> tricky question, Josué Alberto. Hello. Mm. For how long have you, nah, yeah, for how long have you studied English? That's a question in present perfect, hold on. For how long did you study English before coming to English Corporativo? For how long did you study English? Let's leave it that way. For how long did you study English? Mm, the teacher asked me, uh, how long I had been studying English. Oh, good job. The teacher asked me how long had I studied English? Had I studied English? Very good. I wanted to use have, had. Okay, good job. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Suleyma. Hmm. When did you get married? Teacher asked me when I did marry. Uh huh. When I got married, or when did I? No. Yeah. When I when I got married. When had I? I oh no 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 no. I... Uh huh. When had I got married? Well, easy to get mixed up, right? When I had got. Uh -huh. When had I? When I had. When I had yeah. gotten. When I had gotten married. Weird. It sounds weird. The teacher asked me when had I, and I kept doing it. When I had gotten married. 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 This is just a matter of practicing. And one day you will be speaking nonstop and doing this with no mistakes, don't worry. Okay, the last example before we perform the exercises down below. Will would, the same thing. When will my package arrive? The client asks when the package will arrive. Now be careful, you are not using if. Okay, you are not using if as before, remember? As in yes, no questions. Here you don't use the if clause. The client asked when the package will arrive. What will be the subtotal for my, I'm sorry, the subtotal, the subtotal for my purchase? 
A customer asked what the subtotal, what the subtotal will be for his purchase. Um, <laughs> Erika, when will you go to the beach? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the teacher wanted to know when I would be when I would go to the beach. When I will go to the beach, right? Yeah. When I will go to the beach. Yeah. Exactly. Thelma. What will well, you have? What will you have for dinner tonight? What will you have for dinner tonight? The teacher asked me when, what? when I will. Again, what will you have for dinner tonight? Oh, I think she lost her connection. No, Thelma. Yeah, we lost her. What's the answer? Oh, yes, no, she, yes. she's you are, you are. Okay, go ahead. Yes. So what will you have for dinner tonight? The teacher asked me when I what when I what what the what, what I what when I have have at my dinner have for dinner tonight. Okay, yeah. again, so what will you have for dinner? The teacher asked me what would I, no, what what I will have for dinner tonight. The they teacher will. ask me what I will have for mm. dinner tonight. What, what, I, what I will have, what, what I, I will have, what I will have, what she will have, what he will have, what you will have. Difficult. Okay, just focus on that. So you have the wood after the, the subject. What subject would verb and the complement? Okay, let's see. We only have three examples and we're missing four minutes. Why is there a $2,000 charge in my account? A customer asked. Why is there a $2,000 charge in my account? A customer asked. Customer asked. Mm -hmm. Customer asked. Uh, what? What? Why? Customer Why? asked. There was a $2,000 charge in my account. What's your password? My account. No. Why? There was. Why was your password? Oh, well, 2000. Why there was? Let's see. Why was there? Two thousand charge in my account. Okay, a customer asked, "Why was there no right? Why there was a two thousand dollar charge in her account?" Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, everybody. What do you, what do I have to do to protect myself from identity theft? A friend asked. What I have to do? What he or she? What did? 
what they know, to do. what they had to do to prove. Myself from identity in depth. Mm. Mm -mm. That I have to do? Mm -mm. Please? I promise. Herself. He had to. Excellent. To protect himself from identity death. A friend asked what he had to do to protect himself from identity death. See, what do I, what he had. Remember we are reporting, right? What he said, who did he say it about? It's about himself. And the last one, when will I receive fraud alerts? A customer asked. Mm -hmm. What he will receive. Mm -hmm. when what he, he, a customer, mm -hmm. he or she asked, isn't it when? I a customer know. asked, I cannot see. Yeah. A customer when asked, he uh -huh. when he or when she, he would receive it. Okay. Thank you. When would he? No. no. He would. Oh, yeah. yeah. When he would. When... Oh, yeah, I know. He <laughs> would receive. Alert. For alerts. That's it. It's not a question. Sorry, guys. I got a little dyslexic right now. A customer asks when he will receive fraud alerts. It's not a question. Okay. Oh, there's one more, but there's not enough time. Not enough time. Two more. Three more. Overall, that I want. Okay. For Monday. Okay. Monday, check these three examples, and that was on page 23. Study, you have a lot of grammar on this module related to reported speech. Let's enjoy the weekend. Let me do the attendance before we leave. Let me find the attendance first. Oh my God, here it is. Present. Okay, <laughs> Alexander Diaz <laughs> Sanchez Soto. Present, good night. Good night. <laughs> Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores, Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chavez. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Present. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present. Good night. Good night. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you, Stefania Carolina Reyes Sanchez. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good night. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. Yeah. Night. Night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Then, um, Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. And Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present teacher. Good Sweet night, dream. Teacher. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Good night, teacher. Good I night. lost the connection. It's okay. Take care. Enjoy the weekend. Take care too.
Okay, hold on. Francisco. Yes, Yo, okay, Francisco, esta es nuestra primera sesión. Eh, siempre en la primera sesión de, de one on one, de uno a uno. Yo suelo a veces hablar español eh, para aclarar ciertos detalles. Dos preguntas nada más. Una, eh, ¿cuál ha sido tu experiencia con el inglés? O sea, ¿Has estudiado en otro lugar o esta es la primera vez que estás en inglés corporativo? O sea, la primera vez que estudias inglés, ¿desde cuándo? Y la segunda, eh, ¿qué es? estoy haciendo yo, Francisco, aparte de estas dos horas de clase para mejorar mi inglés? Mm, pues no es la primera, el primer curso, he hecho dos cursos anteriores siempre con inglés corporativo. Eh, no había practicado el inglés desde que salí del técnico hasta mm, octubre, noviembre, diciembre. Y este es el... Digamos, ¿Desde, qué, el tercer, ¿Desde qué módulo tercer. empezaste? Tercer módulo que estás acá. O sea que empezaste en... Como en octubre, intermedio dos. mediados. ¿sí? Intermedio dos más o menos, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Y qué es lo que haces aparte de esto? O sea, te, te, ¿qué, ¿qué te gusta hacer relacionado al inglés fuera de la clase? Um, más que todo me gusta ver como caricaturas, porque siento que es más fácil poderlas entender. ¿De verdad? ¿Sentís mm. que es más fácil? ¿Qué tipo de caricaturas? Eh, para niños. O sea, sí, pero sí. de la Warner Brothers, Box Bunny. Sí, sí, más que ¿En todo. ¿En serio? El Pato Donald. No, no tampoco. <ríe> si ni en español, mucho menos en inglés, le voy a entender. Ey, no, pero es que... Um... ¿Y si le entendés a Vox cuando habla Vox Bunny y el Pato Lucas? Eh, no el 100%, pero quizás un, ¿qué? un 30, 40%. Sí, porque ya lo he escuchado hablar en inglés a Vox y habla mucho con el slang. What you doing? What you doing, dog? No sé, bien raro el inglés que le ocupa. Pero, pero bueno. Quizás como son repetitivas las frases, quizás. Es probable, sí, o que casi no hablen, puede ser también. ¿Qué más haces? De ahí únicamente tal vez lo que, por decirlo así, practico con, cuando estoy enviando algún correo en mi trabajo. Mm. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, únicamente que siempre me, me auxilio, por decirlo así, de, de Google Translate. Fíjate que hay otra cosa de hecho para escribir correos que te permite corregir. Grammarly, por ejemplo, algo similar a Grammarly. Antes había una página que solo se parecía el recuadro, pones mm. el texto ahí y te corrige la ortografía. Ah, por ejemplo. No sabía. Sí, Google a veces es como Grammarly. Ok, ¿cuál crees tú personalmente que es su palón de Aquiles, que es lo que te mata? La pronunciación. Inglés? Ok. Uh -huh. para eso eh, sí, de plano, bueno es muy importante que te apegues a lo que les estaba diciendo ¿verdad? que buscar eh, la manera de escuchar y repetir a veces me pongo a escuchar este, conversaciones en inglés de unos eh, de personas que suben videos en YouTube uh -huh. Como a Lisa. Uh -huh. para, para ver qué puedo aprender de eso. Porque sí, el, el, al momento de estarlo, leerlo, por decirlo así, pronunciarlo, me trabo un montón. Ok. Vaya, ahí en el chat les estoy enviando una página web. Y las instrucciones específicas de cómo utilizarlo. Ok. Esa página web que le voy a enviar ahorita, que le voy a enviar paso a paso, 
eh, va, es una, un índice de audios con su texto. Permitime, uno, día uno, dos y tres, escuchar y repetir. ¿Qué vas a hacer con esto? Número uno, seleccionar un tema. Número dos, seleccionar un subtema sin discriminar. Sin discriminar cuál de ellos vas a utilizar, tenés que seleccionar un subtema. Un tema, un subtema sin, sin mucho pensarlo. ¿Ok? En el tercer, eh, luego, vas a pasar uno, dos o hasta tres días si es necesario a escuchar y leer with mouth shout closed ok, no me, con la boca cerrada vas a ir escuchando y leyendo qué es lo que dice ahí leyendo ok, número cuatro día cuatro y cinco eh, repeat many times intonating and day number cinco vamos a ver número cinco days six and seven record after practicing And compare. Va. Entonces, ahí está el link. Esos son audios con el transcript, el, el, la, la lectura de lo que dice en la conversación entre, entre dos personas usualmente. No me importa lo que dice ahí en español. Oí. Primer día. Segundo. Hasta el séptimo día, al final del ejercicio, yo puedo traducir si no necesito hacer. Si encontré alguna palabra nueva y no le entendían en el contexto. Lo más importante de esto es que tú imprimas o escribas, que es lo mejor que puedes hacer, escribir esto. Y el primer día, solo escuchar y leer sin abrir la boca, solo vas siguiendo. ¿Y por qué? Es muy importante que tu cerebro se adapte a lo que está escuchando y está leyendo. Porque el mayor problema que tenemos es que lees algo y como tu cerebro ya conoce las letras, en español o no, las mismas letras que el abecedario español, ¿no? Entonces yeah. tu cerebro se pone a decirte el nombre, ahí no dice go, ahí dice go, go, to, ahí dice go to, go to house, go to house, no, no sé, me explico, entonces inconscientemente, mira, eso ese es como la, el mayor problema en cuanto a pronunciación de todo el mundo, quien aprende inglés no viviendo allá, es como, como es un talón de Aquiles, que yo, no sé, yo lo descubrí cuando estaba chiquito y, y descubrí que lo mejor que podía hacer era imitar personas. Imitar a la gente, imitar la voz de las personas, cantar. O sea, ese era mi caso. Pero entonces, no sé, algo se me dio y pues empecé a imitar muy bien la pronunciación, la articulación de Frank Sinatra, de, de George Michael, de Natalie Cole, los Platters, o sea, música viejísima. Entonces, dos, tres días, lo que yo considere que me va a servir leer y escuchar ya se adaptó mi cerebro, cuarto día empiezo a leer en voz alta repetir en voz alta le puedes poner pausa al audio ok cuarto, quinto día, el sexto, séptimo día los ocupo para oír, grabarme con el celular leyendo eso tratando de entonar igual que lo hacen allí ya una vez grabado, le doy play a las dos cosas celular y, la, y el, el no sé, la compu o dos celulares ¡pluc! y empezás a chequear en lo que has escrito Frank, te perdí hola, Frank, Francisco Francisco no, escuchar ok, me entendiste, me no. estabas escuchando va, chivo entonces ese es el mejor consejo que te puedo dar grabate y dale play a las dos cosas. Y te empezás a autocriticar. Uy, como dije esto. Y lo subrayé eso. Ey, qué chivo me salió eso. Cabal, dije la oración. Uy, igualito hasta lo mismo. Wow. Y ahí vas. Te vas a agarrar un cariño u odio hacia ti mismo. Pero te vas a autocorregir. 
Sí. Claro. Esto, miras a la personalidad, te va a ayudar. O sea, a mí me ayudó mucho y, y ha, ha ayudado muchas personas con las que he dado clases. Y eso me han dicho. No, hombre, puche, que al principio te hicieron una decepción total con eso, pero mire, le eché otra semana. Le di la misma, la misma conversación otra semana, te eché, ya me la puedo en memoria. La misma <risa> conversación <risa> le puedo hacerme. Entonces, y me ayudó a, a, a quererme a mí mismo. Porque incluso me decía un alumno, le hice caso con lo de la gratificación automática. Hiciste algo bien, te aprendiste la lectura. Entonces vos decís, al final de la semana, si me aprendo este volado, invito a la bicha al cine. No tengo pisto, <risa> pero no sé, me compro, ¿sabes qué? Si yo me da risa, porque, bueno, un tiempo que estuve ahí viviendo solo, mi gratificación era un, un, unos quequitos de la Rosville que traen chocolate encima. Como estaba a dieta, era como, pues si logro hacer esto, si llego a esta meta que me he puesto, ese, mi recompensa va a ser ese que quito cuando vaya de regreso por la casa. Mira, y, y se sentía tan bien, era algo tan pequeño, tan efímero, pero me, te llena, o sea, en el momento vos decís, bueno, lo logré, ¿ya? Sí. Entonces, pensá muy bien, analicé esa cosa, eso te va a ayudar mucho, ¿ok? Sí, vamos a ponerlo en práctica entonces, Ticho. Good, Francisco, estamos para servirte cualquier cosa, me escribí, ¿ok? Ok. Good Me agradezco. Good night. Night. Good night.